This video is to talk about some of the subtleties of the left hand traditional grip with regards to flams. I wanted to make this one video and go through all the exercises and play them for you traditional grip and just make a few quick comments as we go along with how to use the left hand properly. So as we play through these exercises, you can watch my left hand move and I can make a few little comments here and there, but mostly I just want to play through these flam exercises at some, sl uh, some slower tempos and faster tempos so you can see my left hand going and you can play along with me and improve your left hand as you master these exercises. So the first one, I'm not going to do the individual flams, uh, it's just taps and accents. So float stroke and tap stroke, you know how to do that on the left hand. But let's go to flam accent and let's play this next exercise which is the individual hand motion for the flam accent which is, so let's do that exercise on each hand. One, two, three, ready, and go. Repeat. Now, in the beginning, the most important thing there is to control the heights of those and get three even strokes. So with regards to your left hand, you're learning how to play that, that triple stroke, three even notes. This is a good exercise. Grab, bounce, grab, bounce, grab, bounce, grab. You play three notes, grab a hold of the stick again. You're starting to tap height and drop it in. Work on that. You can also work on this. Low rebound motion, getting that finger work in the stick and getting the drum to throw the stick back up for you. Because that's the motion you use here. To go faster. At the end of that triple stroke, you got to grab onto the stick and lift again. This third finger comes off just a little bit. So notice that. Let's play the whole exercise about one, two, three, and a four. That's the single hand motion for flam accent. Great exercise. Next exercise, we're going to do the right hand flam accent, then the left hand flam accent, then put them together, isolating those flams. So, chut the the chut. Let's start slowly and then we'll go faster. Chut the the chut. Ready? And. Notice all the tap heights. Notice the motion of the left hand and the right hand taps. Let's do it again. One, two, three, and. All right. Listen to those flams. Know what a great flam sounds like and make sure you're doing it. Let's go faster. Check it the chum. Check it the chum. One, two, three, and. Two again, one, two, three, and. One more time, fast. Chicky to jump, chicky to jump. One, two, three, and. That's the motion that's required. Then it's all about timing the grace note. Let's go to the next exercise. Now, this exercise, we start with this, and we, one note at a time, add the other hand in. It requires great timing control over the taps, or the grace notes and the accents, to continue to get great sounding flams. So, let's start with the right hand, then we'll do it starting with the left, slowly. One and a two. Ready and go.
Now let's do it on the left hand. One, two, ready, and. Let's go faster. About ready and left hand. One, two, three, ready and go. When you can play great flam accents, you're for real. So work on your flam accents. Let's go to the next exercise, which is flam paradiddle. Same category, same basic hand motion, but you have to do four strokes, four tap strokes um, on each hand. So it's one and a two E, one and a two E. Same thing for the left. Work that motion. So the exercise that I really like for that is the same as the triplet one. We do one hand's flam paradiddle, other hands, and then we put it together. So let's do that slowly. Shut the, the, the chum. Ready? And. Notice my float strokes. Smooth. Don't do this. Float, 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 float. That float stroke connects the low notes and the high notes together seamlessly. Gives you this real fluid style and it's what you've got to do when you play fast. Anyways, so do it when you play slow. Uh, let's do that one a little bit faster. Check it, take a chum, check it, take a chum. One, two, three, and. Flam paradiddle. Work that one. Next exercise, we go to the next category, flam rudiments. And these are the bounce legato style rudiments. So the first one is flam tap, which uses the triple stroke hand motion uh, in each hand when you play it. Now let's talk about the left hand doing that motion. Same principles we've been talking about with the double strokes. You gotta throw the stick into the head and use this finger to get the multiple notes and grab a hold of the stick at the end. Grab, grab, grab. Gotta grab the stick. The drum's doing all the work for you, but this is what's manipulating the stick to control the rhythm, to get an even rhythm. Sometimes people get this. They dup ba da dup ba da. You gotta push that second note in so it's in tempo. Let's do the triple stroke motion um, exercise that's on the page. Let's do that first. Dug it up, dig it up. Ready? And. All right, now. If you're having trouble with that, you may have to start very slow and just go hold on to the stick and simulate the bouncy motion and make the rhythm even. It's a decreasing stroke and then gradually go faster. Gotta get that motion going. Now, once you can do that, most people can just kind of throw their hands together and play flam taps. But that's a great exercise on the page to isolate one hand at a time. So we play a measure of eighth note flams, then do the right flam tap, then the left flam tap. 
So let's do that slowly to begin with. One and two and ready, go. Listen for that flam. Chutta, 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 chut. Even though it's a little more legato, it's not quite as punched, it's still got to be a precise flam. Let's go a little faster. Chutta, chutta, ready, and. Flam taps. I love flam taps. Those are a lot of fun to play. The next rudiment in this category is the Swiss triplet. And first we got to work this rhythm. Left hand down, right hand medium height. Open that right hand diddle up and get a smooth even triplet. Then add the, set, the grace note for the flam in the left hand. Notice that left hand motion. Grab, grab, grab. You're grabbing between every diddle. And it's all right down there. Same thing for the left. Then work, uh, then add the grace note. Most common mistakes with those is either to mess up the heights Play both sticks high, that's not right. Get, get the unaccented note down, or you know, the other hand down that's playing the grace note, and then smooth out that triplet. Don't let it close up. Smashing that diddle, open it up. So now I've talked about each hand and those two rhythms. Let's let's put it together in the exercise the way um, the way you see it on the screen here. So we're gonna do the triplet pattern without. The grace note, and then we're gonna add the grace note in for the Swiss triplet. So let's start slowly. Triple it, triple it, ready, and again. One, two, three, and. Do it on the left. One, two, three, and. Let's go faster. Beg it, beg it, beg it, beg it. One, two, three, and. Left hand, ready, and. Work on those Swiss triplets. Okay. All right, next category of flam rudiment is the inverted hand motion. So we have um, inverted, it's the flamadiddle diddle, which is an inverted hand motion that it alternates from hand to hand, and then the inverted flam tap. And both of those use the inverted triplet motion. So let's talk about the left hand doing that motion. You gotta hold the hold of the stick. There's a little bit of, when you get going fast, you use a little bit of rebound. Another time when you got to have your finger right there ready to grab that stick, whoosh, and put that accent in there. A little bit of a whip action to get that in. So let's go through that exercise on each hand. Ready? And. See how my left hand's moving. And you may have to start very slow and build your speed up, but ultimately, let's go faster. Dig it up, dig it up, ready, and. That's the speed you gotta get up to to play, you know, normal tempo 
inverted flam rudiments. Now let's play the flam a diddle diddle. Let's, uh, so now let's play the exercise where the first measure we don't do the flam, second measure we add the flam, that allows us to isolate and work that inverted hand motion. So here we go. One and two and three and ready and go. Add the flam. No flam. Time make the heights keep the heights right smooth accent. Let's go faster. Dig it, dig it, dig it. One, two, three. Ready and go. So work on those, nice and smooth. Now let's do the inverted flam tap, and the inverted flam tap is literally on each hand. But I like this exercise the way I've written it on the screen because it allows you to kind of stop between each inverted flam tap and think about how the flam switches from hand to hand. So we go 1E, e, 2E, e, 3E, e, 4E, 1E, e, and a 2E, and a ready, go. that tempo, it's not too tough to play that triple stroke, but as you go faster and faster, you're really going to have to start to get that whip action going. Let's go faster. Cheddar, cheddar, ready, and... triple stroke inverted motion. That's the key to success for all those. Last flam rudiment, pat a flaw flaw. Very cool rudiment because one hand plays the flam tap motion and the other hand plays the inverted flam tap motion. So slowly the pad of flaw flaw motion. Faster. You see the right hand? Left hand's doing that. So watch that motion on each hand. Ready? And. That's how you build the pad of flaw flaw. But now let's play this exercise on the screen. And one, one other thing I want to... Um, mention about this rudiment real quickly is uh, my very first teacher actually taught me this rudiment and it was common to play this rudiment back in the 50s and the 60s where you didn't even accent the left hand just played it low today it's real common to play the left hand high two flam cha cha both the same volume tend to be a little obnoxious in my opinion and I really like to have it be a bit of a crescendo where the left hand is a little bit softer a little bit lower than the right hand. Cha 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 propels the rudiment forward. You can play it with both hands the same height, but I like to play that left hand just a little bit lower and it builds into the right. I think it gives a nice phrasing to the rudiment. So let's play the exercise on the screen. Cha 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 cha. Let's do it slowly and then fast. One, two, three, and a four. Faster, one, two, three, four. And you can work that off the left as well. I'll let you do that on your own. So there's the fly rudiments. Left hand, work that, control, let go, grab, keep your hand on the stick, build a strong left hand. Good luck.